Hi, 3XL here with the latest Weird Science review. This one is Jim's review for Convergence Superman number 2. Enjoy. I loved last month's Convergence, Superman and was so looking forward to this month's finale. Dan Jurgens did such a fine job setting up both parts of the story that even if I wasn't familiar with the characters' home worlds and stories, I still could follow every bit of it and become fully invested in what was going on. The best part. This was the only book in the entire event where I actually had feelings of wanting both sides to win. Sure, pre flashpoint Superman and Lois were on the top of the list of favorites, Lois is pregnant for Christ's sake, but Flashpoint Thomas Wayne and even Subject 1 Superman were sentimental favorites as well. However, the crazy cliffhanger last month had me wanting Superman to kick some serious ass and I was not disappointed. Was the rest of the issue as good? Let's find out. The issue starts off with Flashpoint Batman and it not only fills us in on what happened last month, but throws in a little Flashpoint history lesson. It may have been little, but it made me smile. That was something I did a lot while reading this issue and I'm even doing while writing this review. This may be a bit of a spoiler, but I loved this issue. From there we visit with Superman as he fights Captain Thunder, Cyborg and Abincer. Jimmy Olsen is there, in his rocket car, and I think that Superman forgot that Jimmy pretty much ruined any diplomacy last month by coming in guns a-blazing. Oh well, Jimmy is Superman's pal so forgive and forget, I guess. The battle is exciting, but when Cyborg attacks Superman and Superman fires back it may be the best couple pages I've seen in a long while. It also shows Cyborg and the Flashpoint boys that this Kryptonian is a bit more powerful than their subject one. Speaking of that scrawny man of steel, last month's cliffhanger showed him kidnapping the very pregnant Lois Lane and we see why. First, he loves her. Second, he wants Thomas Wayne to deliver the baby. With all the serious business going on, Thomas Wayne's reaction to subject one easily finding the Batcave was priceless. When Superman gets free of his Flashpoint aggressors, thanks to Jimmy, and follows a clever Lois to the Batcave, Thomas Wayne's reaction goes from hilarious to laugh out loud funny. So much for his secret little cave. After quickly taking care of Subject 1, Superman helps deliver his son and fans of Lois and Clark get what they've been waiting for. The only thing that bothered me at all was when Superman rejects the name Jer for his son. The issue ends with a nice moment with Thomas Wayne asking Superman about his own son and Lois and Clark looking so happy, holding the newest Kent. Okay, this book didn't have much of a convergence ending. Who won? What city is going to dissolve into nothingness? We don't get any answers on that front, but what we do get is a satisfyingly great Superman story. And Lois story, and Thomas Wayne story. Dan Jurgens does such a great job of weaving such a powerful narrative in just two issues. The bad thing. I want more. I also want more Dan Jurgens and Norm Rapman art. This is on the top of my list of best looking convergence books and the part I mentioned of Cyborg and Superman fighting was awesome. Guess what? So was everything else. Last month's Superman number 1 was my best reviewed issue of the first month and I liked this one even better. The only thing keeping it from a perfect score is that we don't get much of a convergence ending. We do get a hell of a Superman story filled with great characters and superb art. Highly recommended.